Welcome to the video world and we're going to talk about respiration in plants. All living things get the energy they need to live from a chemical reaction called respiration. This process needs glucose as a starting point. So first, we'll see how respiration works and then look at how plants use respiration in combination with photosynthesis. In order to carry on respiration, plant cells need oxygen and a means of disposing of carbon dioxide just as animal cells do. Unlike animals, plants have no specialized organs for gas exchange. Each part of the plants, such as leaves, stems, and roots, perform their own respiration. In plants, respiration takes place at much slower rate as compared to animal. Also, there is very less transportation of respiratory gases from one part of the plant to another. Respiration Living cells respire. Aerobic respiration is the chemical reaction used to release energy from glucose. It is called aerobic because oxygen from the air is also needed. Here is the word excretion for aerobic respiration. Energy is put in the briquettes because it's not a substance. So we have here glucose plus oxygen to produce carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. Plant cells respire just as animal cells do. If they stop respiring, they will die. Remember that respiration is not the same as breathing. So take care, plants do not breathe. As we can see from the word equations, respiration and photosynthesis are opposites. Respiration uses oxygen and produces carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis uses carbon dioxide and produces oxygen. So what happened to a plant overall? This depends on whether it is in the dark or the light, and how bright the light is. Plants respire all the time, whether it's dark or light. They photosynthesize only when they are in the light. So as you can see, we have here Plant respire all the time because their cells need energy to stay alive, but plants can only photosynthesize when they are in the light. So time, we have day, which is photosynthesis is active. At the same time, respiration is active. Well, when we have the time of the day, which is night, photosynthesis are not active. And while respiration is all around active. So we have here how plants affect the atmosphere by day. We have the carbon dioxide produces oxygen for the night. And also in the respiration, oxygen absorbs and also produces carbon dioxide. But in the night, as you can see, photosynthesis are not exist while the respiration is exist. Respirations have can be processed into leaves, stems, and roots. So let's talk about first respiration in leaves. And in leaves, the exchange of respiratory gases takes place through very small pores called stomata or singular of stoma. And the stomata are present a large number on the lower surface of leaves of plants. Each stoma have a pore at its center which is surrounded and controlled by two kidney-shaped cells 
called guard cells. When the stomach opens, the exchange of gases takes place between the atmosphere and the interior of the leaf by the process of diffusion. As you can see here, this is stomata of each leaf. Next, we have the respiration in stems. And in the plants having hard and woody stems and mature roots, the exchange of gases takes place through lenticles or stems. Lenticles are actually loosely packed dead cells which are present as small pores on the bark of woody plants or old roots. This enable oxygen to reach the intercellular spaces of the interior tissues and carbon dioxide to the release to the atmosphere by the process of diffusion. As you can see here, this spot absorbs the respiration process. And again, when we say lenticles, that is also meaning of the steps. Next, the last respiration, we have the roots. And in roots, plant respiration, the soil oxygen right air is present in air spaces between soil particles. And uh, this oxy oxygen is absorbed into the roots by roots, hair present on the roots. In fact, a root hair is a lateral tubular outgrowth of the outer epidermal cells of a root. And the oxygen present in between the soil particles diffused into the root hairs from root hairs, oxygen is supplied to all the parts of the roots for the respiration. During the respiration in roots, oxygen is converted into carbon dioxide gas, which is diffused out to the roots by the same root hairs. So as you can see here, we have the main root, airspace, root hair, and the soil particle. So again, Breathing is different in respiration because in breathing, movement of air into and out of the lungs is needed while the respiration, it breaks down the food to release energy. And uh, in breathing, muscles are involved while in respiration, it not involved. Energy is not released in breathing but in the respiration, the energy should be released. And in breathing, takes place in and out of the lungs, but the respiration, the body cells takes place all the process. So that is the thing you should know about respiration involving implants. So thank you for listening. It's a video work.